Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what is the best way to use a VPN with a smart TV. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend visiting my website using Brave. It's a great browser for privacy advocates. And if you guys visit vpntierlist.com by downloading Brave and using it by going to brave.com slash tom352, you could help support the channel. So once you have Brave installed and ready to go, you could check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a vpn anyways back to the video all right guys so smart tvs kind of come in many different shapes and kind of settings and configurations on one hand you have stuff like tcl tvs which are very popular kind of budget 4k tvs and then you have stuff like sony lg um as well as other brands like vizio and most of these TVs, they do have a certain amount of applications on them, like stuff like YouTube and Netflix, um, Hulu, and all those kind of things. But most of these smart TVs, even like stuff like Roku, don't normally have what I would call applications that are like real applications. So you're not going to be able to like play like games on them necessarily. I mean, some of them you kind of can, but they're not going to be able to install games. Normal applications, you're not going to be like installing a VPN application on these TVs. Which is kind of a bummer because that would be pretty easy and a good way to do it. But most of the time, that's not how you're going to be installing a VPN on these TVs. So you might be wondering, well, how am I going to get VPN on my TV? Um, and, well, there are a couple different ways. Now, probably the main reason you're looking to use a VPN with your TV is to unblock streaming restrictions. Whether to unblock the USA version of Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, or get access to other regions of Netflix like Japanese Netflix. Um, or other versions of Netflix. So if you're looking to put your VPN on your TV, there are gonna be probably two recommended ways to do it. One way would be to purchase a Fire Stick from Amazon. This is probably the most recommended way by me and the easiest way to do so. You just go to Amazon, buy a Fire Stick for like 40 bucks. It's gonna work with 4K stuff like that. And basically what you're gonna do is just plug it in, connect it to your internet, and then download your chosen VPN application. On my channel, my top two rated VPNs for streaming are gonna be Torgar VPN and ExpressVPN. I've made the video about the top two streaming services for 2020, comparing the differences and pros and cons of each one, if you wanna check that one out. But either one you choose, um, you're going to just install the application on the Fire Stick and connect, and it's gonna work with pretty much all the applications. That's probably the easiest way to do it, but the downside is, is it does require you to purchase a Fire Stick from Amazon. However, a lot of people do have Fire Stick, so it's not a huge issue. The second way to bypass your restrictions and stuff on your smart TV would be to purchase what is called a VPN router or just a normal router that you can use VPN software on it. Now, a lot of routers like Asus, Linksys, and stuff like that, you can go into the router settings, go to the VPN part, and you can upload what are called VPN configs. I've made a video about that as well, showing you how to do it with Roku. And this is really easily done with something like TorGuard VPN because you don't have to flash any software on the router. However, you can also do other methods of a router configuration by installing software like you would do with ExpressVPN. It's a little bit trickier, but once you get it up, it's also a pretty easy thing to do. So you can either use the Fire Stick, just install the application and connect to it on the device itself, or you can use the VPN router method by putting VPN on your router and then connecting to that Wi-Fi signal of the router on your TV. I honestly think I would rather recommend the Fire Stick method because it is a little bit easier and it doesn't require you to mess with the router settings, which can be confusing. Um, however, if you are comfortable with the router and you have an Asus or a Linksys or some other router where you could go into the settings, open uh, the config section and upload configs from TorGuard, that is also a very good option as well. Those are pretty much the only options that I really recommend people to do in order to get VPN on their smart TV. This is also uh, the VPN router method can also work with um, game consoles as well. You're not going to be able to install that many VPN applications or any at all on game consoles either, which is definitely a bummer. So you're going to have to do the router method there. And again, I've made videos on the channel where I've talked about how to do that and shown it actually working with Netflix. So check those out if you want. Anyways, guys, this was just a short kind of video talking about some of the methods and some of the techniques you can use. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have any questions or need more information on how to do this. And I'll see you guys again on the next video very soon.